So today I want to take a moment to show people what my setup for my long range rifle is. This is a Remington 700 VLS, which stands for uh, Varmint Laminated Stock. It's a laminated stock, pretty cool. The reason why I chose a wood stock over a composite tactical stock is one, it's a lot cheaper, uh, two, it is easier to find, and three, you can do all modifications by yourself. A modification that I did to this rifle when I first got it was put this cheek piece in. And uh, what it allows for is your eye to align perfectly with your scope and for a consistent stock look. Uh, this piece can be bought at Brownells for about $45. doesn't take many tools, just a saw, a drill, and a chisel. And uh, if you want, I can kind of show you guys how I did that later on. As it is, mechanically, it is all stock. I have not changed the trigger, haven't changed anything in the bolt. Uh, pretty much, this rifle, uh, minus the scope and the uh, little modification I did here, you can buy stock from Remington. Not a big deal. This rifle is in the 308 caliber. And uh, just so you guys know, the gun is uh, clear. There's nothing in there. So uh, right now what I have on here optically is I have the Premier Heritage 3x15 tactical scope and it is currently the USMC Scout Sniper Rifle Scope. Uh, it's also mounted onto Badger Ordnance rings. It has a three lug uh, ring set on the back, two ring in the front, and it's also connected to a Badger Ordnance 20 MOA base. This rifle is set up to go out to about 1,200 yards. Another thing that I added was uh, Harris bipods, and these ones are the longer version. I forget what it's called. I will write down the model number right here, and uh, it's also slotted, so the bipod legs can be adjusted at different heights and lock, so you don't have to mess around with any like uh, adjustment screws or anything like that. So if you're on rough terrain, if you're on a weird uh, incline, and you don't have quite enough angle for that, you can always uh, adjust the legs for that extra little bit so you're shooting straight. A few things that I think a lot of people that are new to the sport should go out and buy is a sandbag. Uh, this is made by Badger Ordnance. It's called the Badger Bone, and it goes underneath the stock like so, and it allows for uh, really precise control of elevation and also a little bit of windage as well. Another thing, depending on your scope, if you're using the mill dot system, is a mill dot master. This can be bought very cheaply. It is an analog calculator and it'll basically make it so you don't have to go out on paper and do all your calculations. So this is a very invaluable piece of equipment and I think for the price, uh, it's really good. A uh, great thing about this is it doesn't use any batteries whatsoever. A really cool thing to have is the FDAC, it's made by Adaptive, and it's basically a field density compensator and ballistic card all in one. It computes holdover for elevation and it also computes uh, windage. And it comes in five mile per hour increments because five miles per hour is really easy to do in the head. The FDAC comes with separate cards for different bullets and also comes for different velocity as well. So this one's for the 308 and it has a bunch of different velocities for the Sierra Match King bullets. Uh, very handy and uh, very accurate too. It's based on the uh, G4 uh, computing model. That's pretty much the bare bones of what I would take to the range or out to the field. And uh, so far it's been working very well for me.